Last week, Charlie Dennison, he is a representative for the state of Missouri. In Elected Sp representative. Yeah. In, right? In Springfield, Missouri. He signed, a, a, it, I believe it is, it is a law, a bill, that essentially will, will allow the University of Kansas to put their logo on Missouri license plate. The KU Alumni Association, Danny Lewis, had him on the show last week. Basically, they got someone, a next-door neighbor for Charlie Dennison, to sign this bill. It then goes to be voted on next year in 2013 whether or not you'll be able to put the Jayhawk logo on the Missouri license plate. Well, yesterday, Missouri Senator Stephen Weber pissed about it, went up to the, I, I guess, the, the little governing body and gave out this just all-time epic speech. Madam Speaker, I'm, of course, referring to the effort by some to affix the dreaded, disgusting... Jayhawk symbol onto our Missouri license plates. Madam Speaker, in this state, we brew the beer that the world drinks. What does that say about the world, by the way? I just, I'm sorry, we, we had to cut it at that point. You're bragging about Budweiser beer? Is that seriously the best thing Missouri has to offer? Well, the first thing that they say is we brew piss? I mean, I, I mean, come on! I mean, I don't partake it, in the in the Budweiser. Look, but it we, seems very popular to me. They they have a, a stadium named after it in St. Louis. Seems like a very popular beer. They've had a lot of great commercials. I think I think you should be proud of you, the fact that your state is home for Budweiser. You know what? I would be proud of the fact that you brew good beer, and that's why I'm proud of Kansas City. That's why I'm proud we have Boulevard. That's why I'm proud of Lawrence. I'm proud that uh, you know there's Free State. I guess St. Louis has Schlafly. That's good beer. But, but, okay, get back to this. This I just, sorry. We build the fighter planes to keep the world free. We raise the food that the world eats. And we raise Tiger fans. Madam Speaker, I was raised as one of those Tiger fans. To me, there is no sweeter sound than a good M-I-Z screw K-U chant. Who is this guy? He is a Missouri senator. His name is Stephen Weber. Like Missouri, he's telling wait. you there's no greater sound than a good M I Z Z O U cheer or F K U or whatever he's saying. <laughs> Screw K U, one of the two. I, I, I'm just gonna give out the number here. One more nine one three five seven six seven six ten. How embarrassed are you by the senator? All right, go on, Carrington. Oh, you made me lose my. You made me lose my place oh, there, yeah, passing. We we got to play. We have to play the whole thing again. Oh, what a shame! You made me lose my. Place. Oh no, it's shameful to hear I, this I, whole thing. I feel thing like it's again. worth hearing it again anyway. Yes, absolutely. Madam Speaker, I'm of course referring to the effort by some to affix the dreaded, disgusting Jayhawk symbol onto our Missouri license plates. Madam Speaker, in this state, we brew the beer that the world drinks. We build the fighter planes to keep the world free. We raise the food that the world eats. And we raise Tiger fans. Madam Speaker, I was raised as one of those Tiger fans. To me, there is no sweeter sound than a good M-I-Z screw K-U chant. There are not, Madam Speaker, there are no nights that my town is happier than when those folks from the West have come into our community, and in Hearn Center, Missouri Arena, we sent them whimpering back across the border. I mean, hold on, let me pause it. I mean, I love the University of Missouri with all my heart. There have not been very <laughs> many of those times where the, that, that the MU basketball team has sent the Kansas basketball team back across the state you know, line what's, whimpering in defeat. What's, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what sport he's talking about. Certainly hasn't been hoops. I think it's cross country. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, I think their water polo team has kicked KU's ass. I think he's talking about wrestling at Hearns. I think he's talking about they used to just <laughs> smack KU wrestling at Hearns. Uh, but it, it is certainly not in basketball. I, I don't know what Stephen Weber's talking about. Madam Speaker, I would oppose an effort to fix that symbol to our license plates under pretty much any circumstance. But it is exceptionally insulting this year. Madam Speaker, this year is the year 
that those folks to the West, after 120 years of competition, have decided that they no longer wish to meet our football team on the field of athletic competition. Now, to be honest, after the beatdown that we've given them the last couple of years, I understand their decision. It's also the year that they've decided that their basketball team, which they think very highly of, I think with no good reason, wants to meet our team I think highly of on them. the field of athletic competition. Now, I don't like KU under any circumstance. That's been proven. But if the year that they can't find the heart, they can't find the courage to play us, is the year that they want to add something to our license plate, I say not if this body has anything to do with it. Madam Speaker, I have an He's, amendment I, that th When's it going to be done? He said not if this body has anything to do with it. This guy, does. how did he ever get elected? Stephen it's, Weber, single-handedly. He's a Democrat, too. I'm embarrassed. Stephen. <laughs> the dreaded Jayhawk, the disgusting Jayhawk from being affixed to our beautifully crafted state license plates. <laughs> I'm, a reasonable, I'm a reasonable person, though, Madam Speaker. And I oh, tell yeah, you we what, tell. I think we should pass this amendment. Highly debatable. And if in the next... 365 days, the Jayhawks find the courage to dig down in themselves and actually play us, then, Madam Speaker, I personally will file legislation to repeal this amendment. But if they're not willing to stand and play us, then, Madam Speaker, I say M-I-Z, no K-U. All right, you know what? Let's first, let's, let's identify one thing here. I, I honestly do not believe that the reason they don't want to play Missouri is because of fear. I, I, I believe I, – this is where I'll defend Kansas in this thing is it's their right to not want to play Missouri. They don't want to play and, Missouri because Missouri abandoned the Big 12. Now, Missouri should have abandoned the Big 12. This guy looks – he looks kind of dumb. An, this guy's an idiot. He looks kind of dumb. He doesn't look kind of dumb. He, I think someone on the text line just said it. This guy makes people from Missouri look stupid. And he does. I'm embarrassed to live in Missouri. Well, I, I'm not, I'm not going to let that one individual, I mean, make, make me look bad. Does, but, does that senator have Down syndrome? <laughs> but the thing is, I, honestly, like, this is the thing. Like, I, I say this with love to my Missouri Tiger fans. Like, we just need to get over ourselves at this point. Like, KU wants nothing to do with us anymore. And, and at this point, I have accepted it and I am fine with it. But to then go on this rant about the University of Kansas and then to bicker over the license plate and these other things, like just shut up. You, you know what the like, best is, character? You know what the best part of this whole thing is? Missouri offers a Pitt State license plate. Yeah, yeah, you can get a Pitt. Like I, I admit, I think I will it, not allow for this unfortunate gorilla to be refixed to our beautiful state license plate. Like, this like, idiot. Like it, it, what it's, a it's, moron. It's, that you know what that. If if I have ever had lesser faith in politics, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I could. Somebody actually, not just somebody, a group of people elected this guy to govern the state of Missouri, and this is what he is spending his most. I I can't imagine he's going to give a more impassioned speech this year. Well, I mean that guy. I, at, at least that guy speaks from it from an honest place. Like no, he doesn't. At, he's at, no, he doesn't. He's like every other politician who brings sports into the political realm. He's grandstanding and trolling for votes. That's the biggest troll job I've ever seen. But at, at it's some, embarrassing. At, at some point, I would just love for the Missouri Tigers to just embrace that. Like it will never go back to how it was. Like we will never go back to playing. Oh Kansas. yeah, they will. Yes, it will. Yeah, yes, at, it will. No, it point. will go back but right to now. Yeah, right now. They yeah. are not going to play Kansas. So I am going to celebrate playing Florida. I'm going to celebrate playing Georgia. And I, I quite frankly, I don't really have the time to discuss the university of Kansas because they just want, they just want nothing to do with You, you know what though? They, they, they should, do they, they, they should play and they should play for this reason because as, as heated as the border war had been in the past, I think it would be even better now. I think it is just building up, and the hatred is there, and it's multiplying and intensifying, and all the good stuff in the past is now compounded by this uh, by this betrayal that KU fans feel from Mizzou, and that the Mizzou fans feel like KU is just jealous of them, both of which, frankly, are accurate, true, and understandable. 
Well, at, at this point, I, I, I just would like to see them just both move on. Like, I, I think it's a terrible. I, I, I think it's terrible the fact that they're going to put that, and I think it's unacceptable. But the whole aspect of them being scared and et cetera, like, it's just, well, that's just a stupid fan it's, it's talking. Just, it's just dumb, man. Like, I, I, I that part that's about just it's the, dumb. That's just America's uh, worst elected official talking right there. Stephen Weber, congratulations. You need to. He needs to be on. If Keith Olbermann still had a TV show, he would be on there. He needs to be a John Stewart's idiot of the day, or uh, that. I mean, that was just the most dreadful thing I've ever heard. It was awesome. Uh, I'm it not, was fantastic. I'm not, I'm not willing to call it the most dreadful thing I've ever heard. Uh, we hand Danny his show back so 